Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video and I've popped down to Prestige refinishing today because the Zagato behind me is about to get its first coat of colour. Been a huge wait, it's been about a year to get to this stage. You've been following, I'm sure, all the stages involved with this. It's been a mammoth task to get the metal right and I've actually come today because I want to check the colour we're going to paint it. So yeah, let's go and meet Sam is in the back and just see how, what he's been up to and what's going to happen today. Well, Sam, today's the day, isn't it? Finally, we're here. So it is. Yeah. yeah. Been a long old wait to get to here, but uh, mega day, mega day, and uh, I can't wait. So this, what have you been doing since the last visit? You've put primer on? Uh, yeah, we reprimed it. There was a few lines that wasn't quite happy with, which we've adjusted now. And, uh, yeah. and sorted out, so we're happy with that. We're nice and sharp, not too sharp, obviously, but we're, yeah. Yeah, we're ready to go with that. And uh, I've just sort of radius up these these edges to match it perfectly. Oh, um, right. Just on the, I don't know if you can see the lines perfectly. Um, so they're all done. Now we're um, masking up. Yeah. Um, so we've got quite a bit of, a, bit of work today to, to get this ready. Um, yeah, what time is it now? What time now is half 11. Um, yeah, Jason's helping you today as well, isn't he? You, you do this, yeah. two of you actually spray it, which I didn't realise. Yeah, once we've got it ready, to make it quick for us to get the paint on quick and even, yeah. we'll, we'll two gun it together. We both start at the rear end, um, yeah. we'll work down the port panels over the roof, into the door shuts, across the front wings, uh, and across the front panel. And then we haven't got to, uh, to refill with, with paint in between. Yeah. yeah. Full coat on in one go without so, mixing more paint away, without having to refill the guts. Oh, so the two of us doing it, it's uh, one coat will easily easy achieve one, one part of paint. Wow. And then we can re refill and then go for the second coat and third. And then, uh, yeah. Really? So, what, 10 minutes, 5 minutes between coats set? Probably really? about 5 minutes ago. Yeah. So there's no dry edges, uh, it's all even. We've got the paint on all quick, so there's no, there's not one bit drying over there. Right. Uh, you know, different rates in the front. So. Yeah. Wow. Well, I can't wait. And you're, yeah, you're just, so you're just jacking it up. Wheels are coming off, aren't they? And yeah, we'll get the wheels off. Yeah, and mask up. Yeah, we we'll mask it to the floor, uh, so we don't get any dust rows by going underneath. And uh, we've then got a mask. Obviously, the static sheet goes on the booth around the All outside. Right. right. Uh, and and the floor. Um, and before we start painting, and then we're ready to go. Right. So we've got we've got quite a bit of work to do today. And, and then, then uh, there's start. black. Isn't there something going under the arches and that? Yeah. Sort once of I've painted it, um, before we polish it, then I'll uh, I'll redo the stone chip all under the arches underneath the car. Obviously, yeah. the black um, satin black under the bonnet um, will be done. Then I'll polish it because I don't want any overspray going on the black. After I've done that, so I'll, I'll come back. Okay. One. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's easier that way around. And bonnets, doors, tailgate. Yeah, well, I'll do them that. after. So we'll paint the whole the shell as it is, and then yeah. I'll do the bonnet, um, the tailgate that Adrian you made. Yeah. Uh, which is is ready to go, and the pair of the doors and the fuel flat. Right. So. That's cool. Yeah. Right. So colour then. That's yep, the main colour. thing now, isn't it? So we have this panel. We're very lucky to have this panel that we took out of the car, cut it out, that's the original colour and I have that That was photograph. the door skin, if you remember. Yes. It was under, underneath that someone had left that in there. For this um, purpose, very kind of yeah, them, isn't it? on the last video I think you saw us polishing this up. Yeah. Uh, and I've now used that. And you found a colour, haven't you? I have. I have identified the colour. Right. So we've got Lancia Rosso Rally, Rally Red. Which Rosso is absolutely... Rally Red. Is absolutely... Oh. Hang on, and I, I didn't think it was going to be that. I thought it was going to have a bit of messing around with the colour. That's, uh, and that is a fit, and it's a fit colour. colour, and it's called Rally Red. Rally Red. Well, I like that. I like that a lot. So it's sort of what this, yeah, suits the car. It does. So oh. we we'll have three coats of 2K straight Rally Red. And yeah. We can have two coats of uh, PPG clear coat straight over the top. Wow. Oh. And then nice it's finished. Line. And yeah. Finished. And any hand flat it at all, or how we'll, does it we'll work? Flat that? polish it. Um, it depends on the finish you want. Because right. you can go for a mirror, mirror, total mirror finish, or you can have a slight peely, peely finish, however you want. So 
few it's just how many on. hours you want to put into it. It's not it, that. It's, it, sometimes if you do, if you do uh, apply a, a mirror finish, you then look at it and think, oh, I can't really use that because you'll mark it easily. Right. So yeah, it all depends on what, you, what you're gonna. Well, it's gonna get used this car, but it's not gonna go rallying or anything. No, but I, uh, prob I probably wouldn't go for a mirror finish on, on this if you're gonna use it. If it's in the showroom, it doesn't yeah. go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mines. Yeah. No, so, it does up, get used. It's <laughs> and it's, it's odd, isn't it? Because it's going to have the black on it anyway. Um, yeah. But yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm holding you up because there's plenty more work to be done, isn't there? Certainly is. Yeah. yeah. Another few hours' work. God. Before we're ready. We've got these little bits. I'm intrigued by these sort of tear offs. Are they something? No, they're, see if we, if we notice, you say, any little blemish. Oh, it's it's a point, it's a, might be a I might be a tiny pinhole there. Yeah. So once we once we masked up, then we'll just double check anything like this. Oh, I see. So if we as we uh, we're just triple checking. So if you see if we see any little mark, it That's might not be. Magic. Yeah, you just see it on my finger there. Yeah, just there. If there's any little mark, I mean it's probably not. I can't feel that. Right. But we'll double check it I before see. we go. And um, there should be anything like that. So anything I, anything me or Jason see, then we'll attend to it before. Yeah. I've got to apply the sealer as well before, once we're ready to go, then there's certain bits that I've got to seal up um, before right. we, uh, so it'll be a brush sealer finish. Oh. It's like around the Oh, you're saying around the have been isn't... welded on. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make these look nice with a brushed sealer finish. Oh, so okay. up, up under there, it has to look sort of, yeah, so you can't get the gun in. There. No, you can't. Well, you can. I can get the gun in there, but it's it, it's uh, it's an edge that needs sealing up before you right. paint it. So we'll we'll we'll, do all that. we'll seal all that up. Okay. And there's one either side of the the gutter in that need doing sort of wiped in, wiped out. So it's oh, do it around there. Just on the with the two skins, mate. I saw that. Yeah. We I'll seal these up, wipe these in, uh, wipe them out, so the two skins are are sealed off. Right. And that's both sides before the obviously Gordon puts the trims on. Yeah. Solid metal. That's unheard of. <laughs> what a Fulvia sport. Have to degrease it or is that all? Yeah, that's done. We've degreased it already. So we've blown right. it, degreased it, probably five times. Um, and once we mask it all up, we'll do we'll repeat that process. Uh, so we'll blow right. it off together and then we'll repanel wipe it again. And then we'll double check again before. We apply yep. the paint and then, uh, then we'll be off and running. Yeah. Looking, yep. getting there. Yeah, getting there, not far off now. We're just getting ready to uh, apply a stone chip white Gravitex just in the back of the door. Uh, the wing shuts, this final bit will be the static sheet around the booth. Right, the oh, that's it. And it's actually cooled down after all the heat wave, it's gone today, hasn't it? So that's, yeah, that's good news, isn't it? It is, yeah, it's too hot. It's, uh, it's not ideal. No. But the sort of 20 or 23 degrees. Yeah. Pretty perfect. Do you heat it in here as well? Or uh, only not this time? Bake. Uh, okay. No, not during, during, yeah. not during the process. Paint, paint yeah. process. Brilliant. Good. All right. Well, getting closer all the time. Yeah. yeah. I'll pop back later on. Right, it's all starting to happen inside. We're now very close to when the colour gets applied. And it's quite noisy in there because that's the nature of spray booth. There's a big fan going, there's a compressor out here. We'll see how we go. What they've been busy doing is actually just wetting the floor and putting anti-static uh, sort of plastic all around uh, the walls because dust is enemy number one when you're painting. Uh, so I'm not going to be in the spray room when they do it. I'll leave them to it. I was just about to mix the paint and I'll dive in and just see the final stages. Look, the zag about to be painted and turning red finally after one year at Prestige Refinishing. Right, you're getting very close now, Sam. I can I yep. sense it. <laughs> and yeah. This is the pre-mix, so this, I was going to get the, this is this, isn't it? So this is our, yeah, Rosso Rally, before you stir it up. There's quite a lot of yellow in there, isn't there? But yeah, it was about half, uh, half yellow, just under half the red, and there's a gnat's cock of like a brown. Is there a tinter. brown in there? Right. Yeah, that's it, three tinters. And that's enough to paint the whole car? No, that's not enough. That's just our first two coats. Oh, and then, right. uh, yeah. So if you swirl that up, we should. So I'm going to be mixing this for about 10 minutes. 
I can't get over that. So you'll have to do that several times then for this car. Yeah. Yeah, we won't need that much. We'll, we'll need another pot full, and that's it. How do you weigh it out? Measure it? Um, yeah, so weigh, weigh it out on the scales. Just put it on the scales, right. Right, we have the colour. That is the colour then. We certainly do. Two, and you're adding... I'm adding the hardener. Yeah, so we're just going to pop a little bit of paint into the mini jet. Uh, there's yeah. a couple of places underneath where the tail gate would sit. Oh, okay. That I can't get into with the big gun. So we're right. just going to colour that in first. Yeah, and then, and then enter the big guns. Yeah, then we'll I'll leave you to it. They, Sam and Jason have just gone into the spray booth and you know it's quite noisy in there and I'm obviously not going to go into the spray booth with them either so I'm going to leave them to it but I'm, what I'm going to do now is just record the moment it turns red with the first coat and then Sam is actually going to send me a clip of it finished completely painted with the lacquer on top and I'm going to add that to the end of this video I would suggest just keep watching because then you'll see my Fulvia in its new resplendent red paint and I just can't wait to see it finished. <laughs>